Lesson 3.8 takes place several days after Lesson 3.7, and it has students once again use qualitative and quantitative data to describe and compare sproutling plants. For materials, Lesson 3.8 requires access to the same plants and data sheets from Lesson 3.7. New blank copies of the data sheets should also be printed for the students for today's lesson. The lesson opens with a teacher wondering with students how their plants are faring. The teacher frames the discussion by reminding students that they will record and describe our observations like scientists, the same way we all did in Lesson 3.7. This means recording the qualitative data by describing the appearance of the plant, and the quantitative data by using numbers to describe how tall the plants have grown, using our paper clips or our Unifix cubes to get those numbers. The procedure for gathering data is exactly the same as it was in Lesson 3.7, to the point that. This section of the lesson plan in Lesson 3.8 is literally copied and pasted from the previous lesson and just added to this one. The one component that is added to today's lesson is to discuss with students how their graphs from the quantitative data about the height of the plants, how those graphs may have changed over time. Chances are. Most plants have grown a little taller over time, but probably at different rates. The teacher will guide students to use their data to identify the tallest plant out of all the plants at this point, the shortest plant out of all the plants at this point, as well as which plant has grown the most from lesson 3.7 to lesson 3.8. To find this out, students will have to find the difference between the plant growth from Lesson 3.7 to Lesson 3.8.